Good morning, it is a Friday. I'm gonna take you guys along on a day in the life. My life's kind of chaotic right now. If you saw my last weekly prep, my dad is in the hospital, had a horrible accident. So I'm gonna kind of take you along how a uh, typical day is right now when our normal is not normal phase. So I was up at 4 a.m. like normal. I actually couldn't get out of bed till like 4.30. I just, it's been harder to get out of bed, you know, reliving this nightmare every single morning has been hard, I'm not gonna lie. Got my coffee, um, read my Bible, did my gratitude journal where I write three things I'm grateful for, which has really helped me right now. And then I wrote in my mama one line a day journal that I am now on year two of, which is really special. And then I'm reading through Job, which I highly recommend if you're going through a hard time to read through that and, I, and to watch John Piper's like sermon on that. I will link that below. That really helped me as well. Um, and then I worked on my new Etsy shop, which I have not revealed yet. I hope to reveal that soon. It's a kid based, um, shop. So I'm really excited. It's not like my work life glue shop. So I'm just really excited. I've been loving designing for that. So I've been doing a lot of that lately. Got ready, made the bed, time to get the kids up. Something new I have not really shared is I am now back to being licensed to be a daycare provider. Not because I intend to do full-time daycare, but just because my community has such a need for random daycare, like our schools couldn't take two-thirds of the kids they normally take before and after school, so I was kind of helping families as I could within you know being unlicensed legally, but now I went through the whole process to get relicensed again just so I can help like two families at the same time, help a neighbor um, with their kids kind of on a drop-in basis. So I do have three kids coming before school and one kid coming after school. So we just do a quick breakfast. They play with my kids, then they're out the door um, for the bus and then one kid comes, it's always so random. So it's just kind of a random schedule as needed. So that's something I need to go make breakfast for. Six kids instead of just my three. And then our typical homeschool, need to do some grocery shopping, pick up and just buy some Valentine's stuff and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd take you guys along and see how today goes. This is my life right now. Normally I'm pretty good about staying on top of laundry, but Here's stuff that needs to be put away and now our hamper's already full and needs to be washed. I'm gonna throw that in the wash. Girls are up, dressed, hair done. And Gwenny's trying to go potty. And instead of our hearts on the doors like I usually do, just because I didn't have time to cut out all the hearts, we're just doing post-it notes and I just put them where they sit in the morning and then they get to go put them on their doors and we just write something we love about each of them. Breakfast, we're having sand sourdough. I'm gonna let them pick peanut butter or regular butter milk or water depending on what they want some blueberries some hard-boiled eggs we hard-boiled a few days ago vitamins for my kids and myself and then that's just filled up the dishwasher uh, clean the counters and the table and the floors so this is what the kids do most mornings they set up like a cafe and play with the if if we have kids coming over otherwise they just play on their own um, they set this up like a cafe and you can order and then you can like go to the table and eat it's just really cute so these came yesterday um, I love five dinners one hour but I'm just looking to switch things up and maybe drop one expense so these were less than my three month subscription to five dinners one hour so I thought if I would just drop that um, payment and just use these because these have this has 150 I don't know how many this has 25 weekly print plans so that'll last half a year so um, these are all freezer meals looks really good I've heard great things about this one which you can prep it's a meal prep and this also America's Test Kitchen those are usually pretty good so the girls have been wanting to look at these we brought our school stuff for our like morning basket time basically our reading and practicing verses and stuff I brought down to the playroom Brandy's looking at cookbooks Celia's playing with Duplos we got these out the other day Gwenny's been obsessed with putting play food in her lunch box so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna read first thing we're gonna do should we pray for Grampy? Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless our Grampy. Today it would seem but a small prize. Remember he got the red ribbon? 
But in the eyes of, of these Puritan boys and girls of so many years ago, the bow of ribbon, the streamers of red, Preserve took the li timid little girl's hand and tried to laugh away her fears. So was my mother afraid this morning at nothing, he said. Indians of Big Hawk's tribes. So there's a picture. What do you think they're feeling? Yeah. So Celia is now playing with Gwen in the playroom and I'm gonna work with Bryony. We finished her kindergarten prep course book so I think what we're gonna do is just start reading some Bob books before we start the kindergarten one because I just think we need some more practice. And then we're gonna do her good and the beautiful math. Sound it out. Good. D -ot. D -ot. D -ot. D -ot. Dot. 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 And. 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 Dot and mitt. Which hands make an L? Well, is that the right way the L goes? Or is this the way an L goes? So that's how you know this is your left hand because it has an L. Okay, this is your left hand. So this must be your what hand? Left. Well, this is your left. Right. right. Oh, you're pawing in one hand and then hold both of your hands like this and I'll try to guess which one it's in. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Okay. I'm gonna guess your left hand. Ah! Okay, do it again. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Right hand. You tricked me! Okay, go again. Are you ready? Left hand. What? Okay, one more time. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Left hand. Yeah. Practicing writing our numbers. So we're nearing the end of our Good and the Beautiful uh, level one and I'm gonna move into level two, but we kind of started this midway through, so we're behind on the booster cards, so we're just working our way through. Um, she knows most of these concepts. So we're gonna do IGH today and then do our lesson. Ready? Night, shine, sight, light. Right. India and folk tales. Can you read these short sentences to me? They have contractions. Remember, so it's like don't, can't, won't. Mm. Uh, he doesn't like it. He no. couldn't sleep. I could not sleep. Couldn't, but it would be could not is what it means, right? Good. In this lesson, we are going to learn about a country called India. Read the sentences below which teach about India and help you practice reading words with oi and oi. So oi and oi. The camel and the pig. A camel said there is nothing better than being tall. Look how tall I am. Oh, Minnie Mouse stopped by to visit us. You look so pretty. <laughs> so Celia is going to edit the story and then write these words in lowercase and then we're gonna practice spelling some words. Girls are singing let it go in the other room. So we're gonna skip math today. We're way ahead in math like she, this is math two and she's on lesson 92 and we have way more weeks. Um, we have way more days left in the school year than we have lessons so 
We were gonna plan to move into Math 3, which we probably still will a little early, but um, on days like today when I just feel really cru uh, like we don't have a lot of time, we're just gonna skip that and we'll make it up more next week. It's almost nine and we need to go to the bathroom, clean up a little bit, run to Target, and then go get our Walmart pickup get home, make lunch, and then Bryony has to be on the preschool bus by 11.30. So I don't like to rush, rush, rush for running errands. So I want to be able to leave by nine. So I'm going to clean up a little bit and get out the door. Elsa and Minnie wanted to come with, and you're only two and five once. So pretty cute. What did you pick? Let me see. Let me see. So it was a very big grocery week because Brian has to bring snack to preschool and Awana plus it's Silly's birthday party this weekend. So I'm gonna quick show you guys what we got. Okay, this is pretty much all the food we got at Walmart. Not the healthiest grocery haul. We're in survival mode right now and everything's so expensive. So we're doing the best we can. Um, yep, we're going with frozen pizzas and the girls have this cheese one for tonight. Um, eggs, milk ground chicken for these chicken burgers we're having next week chicken thighs i think sand wanted those for meal prepping this is one of the snacks brianie's gonna bring i believe to preschool we needed some chocolate checks we have cereal once a week granola ravioli just wait honey butter turkey hummus andouille sausage for this andouille sausage rice and peas meal i love to make in the instant pot some Truvia, Sam loves this liquid IV, it's very expensive though. Sour cream, crackers, goldfish, animal crackers, which I th think I might have actually bought, I meant to buy as a snack, but now I have an extra. This stuff we ran out of, it is my favorite, the sugar-free Thai chili sauce, so good. We've got jelly, mayo, a bunch of marinara, some bananas, strawberries, raspberries we still have some leftover like blueberries and grapes and apples in the fridge already and oranges plus some peppers and things we got salad for me juice for Celia's birthday party and then the other snack we got is some popcorn and raisins for her to bring to Awana for snack and then we also got just some stuff like I got plates and napkins for her birthday party some forks we needed some different trash ba bags some paper some cleaner and then I didn't realize these cups were gonna be so big but that's what we're gonna be using for the juice at Celia's birthday party and then at Target um, we got so Bryony picked Tootsie Roll Pops, Celia picked Twix, Gwen picked Skittles. I'm letting my big girls hand Valentine's out to their friends and then we got a birthday card from my brother whose birthday's coming up and then the two big girls both picked these treats with the googly eyes for their actual Valentine's and then Gwenny picked this cute animal sticker one. And then we saw these paintable mailboxes. And my girls have these makeshift mailboxes they put on their doors. But then we saw these for $3 each in the dollar section. And they have little hooks. So I thought I'd just use some command hooks to hold them up. Because these are very light. My girls will sometimes put letters to each other or if they have like a toy that they need to return, like a small one, they'll put it in there. So we're gonna put those on their doors. I think that's so cute. Breakfast is super fast and simple. Homemade Lunchables, turkey cheese, crackers, some pickles, and some Shobani strawberry yogurt. I'm gonna run a little behind. I'm just having two little sandwiches, turkey, cheese, lettuce, and pickles. But Matthew, who had been sitting mute... Okay, kitchen is back to somewhat clean. Have all these bags of like... I put stuff in bags for the birthday party, for snacks, and Valentine's Day, and then just stuff I need to deal with. After Gwenny goes down for a nap, Brady just left on the bus for preschool. Are you ready for a nap? Yeah. You are? No. No? Are we going to read a book or are you going to drink some coffee? <laughs> so I was really... My idea for these was awful. <laughs> Cause I didn't think about the fact, I'm sure you guys thought about it when I said it, that this sticks out really far. So like, this is not gonna work. So I tried like using this rubber ballot to bend these down, 
and I just can't do it. They don't bend very easily. So then I thought, well, I'll just put the command strips right on here. So I sanded them a little bit, but I didn't think about the fact that this has to open and this sticks out. So like they won't even touch the door. And then if you went to open it, it would make it fall off. So I ripped these off of this one. Um, so I think honestly, I'm just gonna put a couple small nails on the doors, which I know probably not the best idea, but you can always like fill them and you know, do like a little stain on them and probably wouldn't notice, but like, I just really like this idea and I'm wishing there was an easier way, but I'm not thinking of it right now. Okay, I think I figured it out. So this is the normal command hook and I was able to mallet it down. The problem is like, if you try to mallet, like hammer something and you're holding it right here, like you're gonna kill your thumb. So I've got this meat tenderizer mallet thing and I used that to hold this down on one side and then I whacked it with this side. Then it actually worked out perfectly. I just use a scissors to make that hole bigger and then I can put this right in there and I'm gonna try hanging it up now and I think that's gonna work. That looks really cute. Do you kids like to decorate their doors too? So it actually works better if you don't bend these, I realize. So I did extra steps I didn't need to do. I also secretly picked these up in our Walmart pickup. Just simple. I don't have time to turn to the store or anything. So um, not too expensive, but sweet. So I got one of these bears for each girl. And then one of these just little chocolate hearts things for Valentine's Day. And hopefully I'll somehow cram those into those bags. But that's what they're getting for Valentine's Day. Nothing crazy nothing expensive just something sweet and thoughtful i know i could just not address this but i feel like if i'm gonna share a somewhat authentic look at what life looks like right now i need to share this um because i don't want anybody to watch this and be like she's holding it together so well and she's so patient through all of this i have done my best and I'm, I'm not gonna lie i've snapped at my kids more than i ever have um which i'm not proud of and there are times I'm just like, can you all just please go do something so I can think because my brain is about to explode. It's just so much right now and like doing the best I can not to make this even more traumatic for my kids than it needs to be. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard. It's very hard to parent well when you are under a tremendous amount of stress trying to add, I'm trying to add a hospital visit every single day to my plate when I already had a super full schedule and it's just, it gets to be a lot sometimes. Most of the time, like 95% of the time, 90% 90, 90 of the time, I'd say I'm being a really good mom, holding it together well, but five, 10% of the time, I'm just having a really hard time. So I'm just sharing that. Um, do I want to admit that to the world? No, but I also don't want to be like, this is what it's like to go through a crisis and have you guys think, oh, you're not supposed to ever snap at your kids, which I don't recommend snapping at your kids, but that's not realistic to never have a, a hard moment as a mom, to never lose your temper ever, um, especially when going through something like this. So just sharing that to be transparent. Silly has just been playing away, hanging out. Gwenny's napping, Brandy's at school, and I'm going to do a little Etsy work. Not actually on my work-life glue shop, but if you guys haven't seen it, it still is alive and well. Um, I will be adding more designs, and I did add a few more the other week, um, but I'll be adding more over time, but I'm just trying to get my other shop off the ground and running, so stay tuned for more of that. Celia's other thing she has to do, she has to do copy work, or like she's doing, it's copy work slash handwriting practice and she's learning cursive so she's going to do a page out of her workbook for that and then she has to read independently for about 10 minutes so she does that on her own during nap before kindle time which is at three and then she can either um, do her teacher monster to read game for 30 minutes once uh, two o'clock rolls around did i say two or three two to three is when they have screen time. I don't know what I said, but at two, she can have screen time. So for the first 30 minutes, she can do Teacher Monster to Read, um, which is an app we have on their Kindles, or she can do Osmo, because um, I just want something like 
more than just sitting and watching a screen, like something interactive that they're learning through. And then the other 30 minutes, she can just watch, you know, approved shows and things like that, or they have some games that they play on their Kindles. So they can do that. Bryony will also do that when she gets home. She'll be home like 15 minutes before three. So she'll do that. And then Gwen, if she wakes up early from nap, will also get a little Kindle time. It really, when she wakes up early, she's really cranky. So this just works really well to help her um calm down and transition and then we'll have um the one kid coming after school for snack and yeah that's probably what the afternoon will be i totally forgot i wanted to share with you guys um yesterday was a crazy day like if i seem frazzled just because literally it's just been craziness some in the best way some in the worst way obviously but um the news picked up our GoFundMe, they found it and shared it on a few news sites. And then a news reporter from our local news reached out and asked if she could interview me. That was on Wednesday and she wanted to interview me Thursday. So I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, obviously I want to, I want to spread the news. I want to help get my mom as much help as possible. Um, it's funny cause I would be like, obviously it's terrifying to be on the news. I think you guys would watch my videos and be like, she would be so comfortable with that. But to me, like picking up the camera when I'm at home and just talking to a camera, to you, um, and being able to edit it myself and reword things if I say it wrong the first time and being the one in control of it is a lot different than a news reporter coming, not being able to see like behind the camera, not having any clue how she's gonna put it all together. And I totally like her first question was, let's start with an easy one. Tell me about your dad. And I went, like, I couldn't think of anything. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> there's so much to say, but like, I couldn't think of anything. So she did amazing. So I'm actually gonna leave the news clip here just so you guys can see it. I have never been so thankful to have YouTube clips of my dad ever. Um, I'm like, I told my mom, it's like, it's just amazing how God uses things you've done in the past and he knew you'd use it one day in a different way. Um, and so I think of like all of these clips I had of my dad and I gave them to the news reporter and I could find them all easily because they're on YouTube um, and how she weaved them together to share this incredible, incredibly hard, but like just the way she did it was just so beautiful. And we ended up, I don't have cable, and so we watched it in the hospital room with my dad. He, he was asleep, uh, but my mom and I watched it and just sobbed. Um, she did such a good job. So anyway, I will share that. And if you guys are wanting to donate $5, $100, whatever, like, you know, the amount's not really what matters. It just We're just so thankful. And of course, even if you don't want to or can't donate, prayers are so appreciated. So thank you. Um, I will leave that information below, but here's the news clip. Studio tonight to give us more details on what exactly happened. Maisie. Yeah, Laura, a little over two weeks ago, it was just a typical day of carpentry work for six-year-old Casey Rick. He was building a roof for a business in Altura, but while on the roof, he slipped, and now his family is trying to hold it together. You could be the wonderful queen. Yeah. Who's your prince? Grampy? A loving grandpa, Sarah, says her dad, Casey Rick, was her family's rock, always there to lend a helping hand. He's a quirky guy who we love, and um, he's a very manly man and loves to build things and loves to read books. He loves, he's always like, I could give him anything and he would know how to build it. But on January 17th, their lives were turned upside down. While Casey was coming down off the roof to come home, he slipped and fell 15 feet straight onto concrete. My mom was waiting for him to call her like he always does at the end of the day. But he never did, only later learning of the horrifying accident. He hit his head pretty significantly, broke pretty much all of his ribs on the right side, um, had some brain bleeds. Sarah said her father has been unconscious for the last two weeks. But last Saturday, the family finally saw a glimmer of hope. Casey woke up. I asked him, do you know I'm your daughter? And he said no. 
Um, so that was hard. And then I asked, like, but can I call you dad? And he said yes. She says while she's hopeful, he still has a long recovery and will spend six to 12 months in the hospital. Doctors say brain injuries are hard to predict, and they don't know if he will walk or talk again. But Sarah says the scariest part is not knowing if her dad will ever be the same. Just seeing that there is somewhat of him inside is really reassuring, but still scary, obviously, and wondering, like, will he still be the same person? Which one's it under? <laughs> What's she really watching the whole time? <laughs> What'd she do? <laughs> Sarah, his daughter, says she has never had to ask for help like this, but between the medical bills and helping her mom stay afloat, she just can't do it alone. She's made a GoFundMe page and has already raised almost $10,000. If you are interested in donating, we'll have a link to that GoFundMe up on our website at kaaltv.com. Laura. Celia chose Osmo, so she's doing this like story one where you change the characters and it tells stories. Ha, huh, that makes me laugh. She loves Bluey. <laughs> right under cursive. Brian, he just got back. It's a little after 2.30. I'm going to empty the dishwasher. They're having the screen time. Gwen is not quite up yet. Going to get snack ready. The plan, it's like 15 below zero today. That's why we're not going outside. Um, so whenever um, the child who comes after school goes home, then I'm going to go see my dad. Sand's on his way home now, so he'll obviously watch the kids. Um, then so I can go so that's the plan that's been hard like it's like my mom Doesn't want to drive at night and she's already at the hospital So it's hard to like we kind of overlap sometimes and sometimes we don't like we just chips in the night or whatever <laughs> I don't know what the saying is but um, Yeah, so that's the plan for tonight. He'll do movie night pizza for the girls um, If I get home in time to help with bedtime, I'll do that. Otherwise he will do that um, cause I want to go see my dad, but it sounds like they've been messing with a whole bunch of different things. Um, so he hasn't been as responsive as he was for a few days earlier this weekend and, um, like Monday and Tuesday, which is frustrating, but, um, they're doing the best they can to manage his pain. Well, like I said, not doing it all ever, but especially now. Granola bars, applesauce. That's about all the effort I want to put into a snack on a Friday afternoon. It's dinner time. Sarah has been gone for a while now. Um, Friday night is movie pizza night. The girls are watching Inside Out uh, for the umpteenth time. Great movie if you guys haven't seen it. But I'm just quickly going to show you what I have so far. It's pre-made pizza, frozen pizza from Walmart. And um, yeah, Walmart. So just simple garlic bread pepperoni pizza, three meat. There's the girls' cheese pizza from Walmart. Walmart actually has some pretty decent deli pizzas. I'm not going to lie. Um, they come. Um, in hand, they come in a uh, clutch when you're trying to feed a bunch of people um, in a short amount of time. So I got home last night and totally forgot uh, I was filming. So it was a pretty good night. My dad's kind of regressed a little bit, which can happen with a uh, brain injury and they've been changing a lot of things on him, trying to reduce meds and things like that, which has just made him more agitated. So that's a little frustrating, but I'm just grateful I got to see him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're liking this kind of thing. I plan to do a Q&A soon. So if you have any just questions, it doesn't have to be about this. It can be. Um, but just anything about homeschooling, life, um, marriage, parenting, dealing with this brain injury, all that stuff. Anything goes. So just leave those in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. I appreciate it so much. I'll have the link to my mom's GoFundMe down in the description if you guys are able and wanting to donate. Um, but either way, thank you so much for all the support and prayers. I'll see you soon. Bye.